Hi Artsy Fran, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh my God, I am so excited to make this video. I just wanted to share this lovely cute look that I came up with with the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina palette. I came up with my own love spell look. And the reason I say that is because this is packed with so many different looks that you can make. They do it in a form where it's like all these different spells and you know this color plus this color plus this color it creates that look spell so this is a beautiful palette and it's so pigmented i was so happy because sometimes like i do love nyx don't get me wrong but the um, eyeshadows sometimes like even some palettes that have come out in the past like they're just not they don't deposit color very well and but this one like it's packed it's packed 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 with colors and with colors that are pigmented that actually really um, deposit very well and as you can see I did the entire thing with my whole face too with the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina palette and also when you spend $40 or more you get this cute little Sabrina kit to take with you and I find it really cute and convenient so I'm really excited about that it's like the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina of season 3 just in case you don't know uh, Netflix actually reached out to NYX and asked them to collab and they did and they came up with this lovely palette to promote the show and I love the show and I love the palette I'm really excited um, we are gonna have so much fun today because I was so excited to do this look I had so much fun doing this look I was so excited to get my hands on this lovely palette because I just love it so much um, there's so many looks you could do with it and I'm just gonna open it up quick a little more and you just have all these beautiful colors and then you have your uh, blushes and illuminators at the bottom and it's just a beautiful beautiful look and just a quick recap you're gonna have a few colors back here that it points out to just be very cautious when you do put them on your eyes like the red um, that always causes some sort of like allerg allergic reaction to people I'm one of them haven't had any allergic reaction with them with the red as of yet and also the the packed pigment colors they do deposit uh, a lot of color and they do um, you know they do kind of do a little flyaway effect so that can get into your eye that's why they put that there just in case you don't know just in case if that happens to someone they're covering themselves so that's pretty cool let's get this cute little love spell Valentine's Day look going check it out so we're gonna have fun now yeah so I got some extensions and I've been doing this like 80s 90s kind of like ponytail look like on the side if it happens and I have a couple of blemishes and that's awesome because I'm not aging apparently. I'm still getting pimples, I don't understand. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, hydrating my eye and concealing my eye with the Boing by Benefit Cosmetics Concealer, Hydrating Concealer. And yeah, I'm just gonna add that in there. Per usual I'm just gonna go and grab the NYX pigment primer and I'll put that all over my lid I'm gonna grab a little bit of Batty Bat Sweet 16 and Hell on Earth just like back and forth back and forth so I'm just gonna go and pick up that Batty Bat and look at the pigment of this already like isn't that sick that is insane like insane like I am so proud Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm just gonna do that and make a, and go into Sweet 16 and bring a little bit more of that pink out. Just stunning, like absolutely stunning. These colors are great. They're beautiful, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So when you deposit the color here, I like to just kind of start blending out a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. beautiful. Oh my God, these colors are intense, man. Woo! Now I'm gonna grab uh, this little teeny tiny brush here. It's by NYX, like it is incredible if you can see it. It's just this beautiful flat little thing and it's uh, number 29. I never know the names of them, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go and grab those colors of put them underneath. I'm 
I'm gonna pick up the uh, Hell on Earth right now, the red, and I'm just gonna, with that same brush I just cleaned it, I'm just gonna go and like add that into the crease because I don't want it to be too thick just to bring that redness out. Stunning. Stunning. I just kind of dot it out where it's like, okay, that's cool. These colors are insane. grab the crease brush and grab that hell on earth and just kind of bring stuff together here not too much because it's really pigmented but what I like to do like after I've done my contour and all that kind of stuff I go back and I just really clean up the eye so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab pigment primer again and I'm going to just put that on the lid I'm gonna grab Hellraiser right now. Okay, if you can see that color. This one right here is just beautiful. So the good thing is, is that I can see where the crease is because of where the hell on earth is. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab, um, I'm gonna grab Eternal Bliss and it's this color right here. And I'm literally going to just tap that on to bring it out. So it's like a mix. Just gonna go back and fix that red. Grab Eternal Bliss again, and I'm gonna go to the other lid. And again, so this is the one that's like the warning on the back of the <clears throat> of the palette because it is pigmented, and I can feel it dropping on my face. This is why they put a warning is because like it could also go into your eye if you're not careful. I'm just gonna go and clean that. I'm gonna go back with Hell on Earth and just clean that. There we go. So it looks nice and sharp. So there's no deposit of the Eternal Bliss. Okay, so for now um, I'm going to put this down for just a moment and then I'm going to do a wing liner and as always I'm going to grab the liner smudger in black by NYX which is a, a gel. Not too thick and I'm not going to touch my waterline too much because I am going to do a different liner there. So that's good enough. That's good enough. Another sip of my coffee, it's much needed. Woo! going to just uh, move away from my eyes a little bit and then I'm going to focus on the face. I am so excited. Oh my god. I am so excited for this look. Oh! I'm 
gonna grab the Professional by Benefit Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna put that in my T-zone. So I got a little sample yesterday at work. Uh, if you can see it, I'm gonna put uh, the picture right here. It's the High Glass Primer, and it's just gorgeous. Like it's illuminated. It's absolutely beautiful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it into my foundation so it gives me a nice high gloss suede uh, lipstick by NYX in Munchies and I just like to do that. I don't really do the jawline because it always kind of freaks me out like I always feel that I can see the difference and that's more like red carpet stuff. I mean I could do a little bit of it I guess but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the Hide the Blemish by Rimmel Concealer. And I'm just gonna put that in my highlighting areas. Okay, perfect. Great. Okay, so, oh my God, I love this foundation so much. It's Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydration Foundation. It's beautiful. I like it because my, I'm just gonna put a couple of drops in my hand in the winter time I realized that my skin is dry-ish now because I have combination and it's more dry than it is like in the summertime so I had switched to that because I was using the Can't Stop Won't Stop by NYX and it was like my face was literally looking like leather it was pretty crazy I'm gonna grab the Total Drop Control by NYX and I'm gonna put a couple of drops of that in here to mix it as my tan fluctuates and right now a little pale AF. The camera makes me look look a little bit more pale than without this bright light in front of me. So so I'm gonna go and grab that high glass primer and I'm going to mix it into my foundation. So it gives me a nice glow all over. Yes, I do blend in my concealer and contour with my finger. I'm just gonna talk about while I do this. Um, so, <clears throat> if you saw my post of Lovesick, the Lovesick look that I did, I think it was last year. I absolutely love that look. Like, listen, sometimes people don't get your vision and whatever, and that's fine. And I'm not the type of person to get all discouraged that I don't get a lot of likes or whatever on certain photos that I do. Like, you just have to be proud of what you do, and the f and, and if you're proud of it, that's all that matters. Because I love that look. I think it's freaking sick with the heartbeat across my forehead. I absolutely love it. And doesn't didn't get much love the first time that I posted it, and it didn't get much love the second time I reposted it because I don't know why, but. I think it's pretty cool like it was a one of the Valentine's looks that I did and listen like if you're not getting too many likes and you're not getting too many followers as long as you're expressing yourself fuck it like that's what matters at the end of the day like I'm not doing it to get famous I mean of course I want to be recognized for my talent of my makeup but like if I don't it's fine because I'm still living my dream at the end of the day and I don't need someone else's opinion or to just you know validate me that oh yeah she's a really good makeup artist like I love that look like I, I just really was proud of myself and if you ever come up with looks and you're like you know what I killed that look you own it just be like I loved it and you know what um I framed it I framed it it's in my place I framed it and I thought that it was really cool and if you like your stuff like I started to frame a lot of my work in my <clears throat> my condo because why not why not like be proud of yourself at the end of the day as long as you're pleasing yourself and you are expressing yourself with like whatever you do your art in whatever shape or form um, that's all that matters. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and just press that in there. I like to press it into the chin. If you're oily, 
it just really seals in the oil and I know the colors are a little bit off but you know in the end it's all gonna come together and you'll see just a little bit of that <clears throat> and I don't want to touch this area here because I'm gonna go and do like chisel my contour and I find that when I was putting powder here and then I was going over with a cream I looked like I had some like weird skin disease at the end of the day like it was just blotchy and weird so I was like I'm never doing that again I learned my lesson so now I'm going to grab the warm caramel can't stop won't stop and that one for my face sorry was the can't stop won't stop in the neutral tan the warm caramel is for the contour I'm gonna grab this beautiful brush which I've talked about before and it's just like the one from Scott Barnes and Nyx has it too and he uses it for contour and I and as you probably saw like I do my makeup like he does like he just does the contour and the highlighting and all that and then he goes over the over it with the foundation because he's just kind of bringing it out uh, bringing things because he's a painter at the end of the day so he has a vision and I paint and draw and do that too so I get his concept so um, so I just like to go back and forth because if you drag um, I feel I don't want my foundation to move and again if it's looking a little like questionable like oh my god like that just looks like so much like what is she doing um, you just have to blend that out and buff it out and then I'm just gonna grab a powder brush the number two I believe by NYX yep and I'm just gonna just go like that as Scott Barnes likes to say toast the temples just want to bring a little bit of that color okay okay and then you see here how it's a little bit still kind of sharp so you just want to like not picking up any color you just want to blend that out but just focus on the top part the bottom part is a different story which that's gonna be um, fixed in just a minute okay great I'm gonna go and grab the total drop control foundation and it's in buff and I'm just gonna grab a couple of drops literally just a few of them and I'm going to just bring out that highlight a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Can't Stop, Won't Stop loose powder in banana. Oop, uh, so, and I like it because like it does have a stop if you can see. So if you're traveling and this is sealed, you know sometimes when you have loose powder, it just gets everywhere. But this is perfect because like if you just like open it just slightly and give it a shake, you're gonna get some out. And then you can go ahead and use it. So I'm just gonna go and just seal in that highlighting, but I'm not gonna touch my eyes because I talked about it before in another video and you know how I am with not putting I don't like putting powder under my eyes because I think it just causes so many issues. Okay, I'm going to just fix my contour. I'm going to grab a flat foundation brush and I'm going to grab just a little bit of like concealer and I'm just going to go and just clean that up like that. Not too much because you don't want to put too much product there. nice and chiseled I love it I thank my drag queen friends for that trick they their makeup is always fly always flawless and oh my god they teach me so much so not good so you see how it's like sharp and you're like oh my god but I don't want to be walking around town like that Tanya like what are you doing artistic jungle no worries is you're gonna grab this lovely little brush here that I picked up at Sephora and it's number 67 and they call it a full coverage precision 
So I'm just gonna dab a little bit in that warm caramel and just slightly, I'm just gonna buff it out, but I'm not gonna like put a lot of pressure on there. I'm literally just gonna like move it around a little bit. So it's a little bit, yeah, so it's more soft. See that side, compared to that side, that side, compared to that side. Love it. I'm gonna just move on to my brows and again remember my eye look is still not done. I'm gonna grab a precision pe eyebrow pencil by NYX in blonde. Maybe I'll just fix that a little bit with my highlighting brush. It's still a little too... Oh that's a little better. Then I'm going to grab waterproof eyebrow gel by NYX and I have it in brunette and in blonde. And, the, and I mix the two together because brunette is too dark on its own for me and blonde is too light on its own for me. So the two combined is actually a really good mix. Yeah, I love it. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the eyes. So I'm gonna grab the faux liner and this is in linen. I mentioned it before that it, they don't say waterproof, but they stay on all day long. Like they don't move. Like, they're beautiful. I love it. So I'm just gonna like go into my waterline and bring that out. And it's a peachy undertone, which is nice. See, it just opens up my eye like that. I love it. Yeah, just open that right up. And I'm going to put that in there so I can bring that with me for my touch up. So now I'm going to grab that palette again, okay? And I'm going to start playing around with this a little more. I'm gonna grab a Q tip, a pigment primer again. I'm just gonna put it in the corner of my eye. I'm gonna grab the Ambrose, which is this color right here. He's a cool character. And I'm just gonna go with my pinky and I'm just gonna put that in the corner. It is a little dark. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that Eternal Bliss again and I'm just gonna go on top of the Ambrose and just to bring that out a little bit so it doesn't look so dark. See, I love this palette. I love it! And now I'm going to grab that crease brush again and I'm going to grab a little bit of the Batty Bat and the Sweet 16 and now I'm going to start bringing it underneath a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to grab the Polarize Mascara by NYX and I'm just going to go and coat my lashes. So I'm gonna grab the What's Up by Benefit Cosmetics and it's a cream illuminator and I got this in a gift set. So I'm just gonna go and put that where I'm gonna put my illuminator. Okay, now what I'm gonna do for as an illuminator on my cheek, I'm actually gonna grab that Eternal Bliss again. I really like the color because I wanna keep it in like the pink Realm, you know, and I'm just gonna grab it with a brush and I'm just gonna like bring that out. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna grab Nick Scratch, which is the blush, and I'm grabbing it with the blush brush by NYX number 21. It's so soft, and that's what you want. So I'm just gonna like dab, 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 and just Oh, oh, bring that out a little. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. I don't want it to be too bold. I'm just gonna literally just touch a little bit of that color on that. Grab that again. Just literally go put that there. Perfect. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Absolutely. Oh my God, these colors are insane. I'm like shooketh, man. Like, this is just gorgeous. Okay, mm, 
I'm gonna go and just like clean my nose jewelry and I'm going to come back and then we're gonna just amplify this look a little bit more. Uh, and before I do that, first and foremost, I need to put some mattifying spray, the best in the market um, by NYX. Give myself a nice coat and I like to just just fan myself. sure that's set in there right and I will be right back so everything is cleaned up and now we're gonna add lashes and such and these are my favorite lashes lately oh my god they're gorgeous um, but I, I'm pretty sure they're number 17 by NYX but they're just absolutely stunning they're just absolutely stunning they just really open up the eye it's just um, they're gorgeous Oh my god, I love these lashes so much. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm just going to go and grab the Matte Liquid Liner by NYX. Best on the market. You can even go swimming with it and it will not come off. Um, so then I'm just going to clean that up. I'm going to start with this eye. Okay. So now that we have that, we're gonna kick it up a notch and we're gonna make it so much more fun like than this. So now I'm gonna grab the Pink Hearts Glitter by MAC. All right. I'm gonna put some in my inner corner and my outer corner. I'm gonna do it with uh, Spirit Gum. It's from Ben Nye and it's the best. Like, I absolutely love it. It's just what makes everything stick and it won't move. Some tweezers, pick them up, dip them in a little bit of Spirit Gum and just like put them on. Sorry guys, my camera died. And anyway, I put some of the lashes on. Isn't that cute, right? I love it. Because I don't want to take away from the eyes, I'm going to have a natural pinky kind of lip. So I'm going to line my lips with MAC Whirl. My camera's not focusing. And I'm gonna put that in my Sabrina pouch to go. Put that in there. I already have a little bit of the lip balm on of the This Is Everything lip balm. I'm going to put that to go. This lipstick is absolutely amazing. I, I love it so much. It's by Bite and it's in the color meringue and it literally smells like meringue pie. I don't know if they did that intentionally. I'm just gonna put that. Oh, I love this color so much. Yep, yeah. that is going in my kit too. So that is my love spell with the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina palette. And I hope you really enjoyed it and happy Valentine's Day. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thanks, bye.